Welcome. It's nice to see you one more time. I hope everybody is okay at home. And we will continue learning English here on the so, Nice to have you, everybody. Welcome, 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 welcome. Good evening. Thank you so much for being here. Um, we're going to start right now with the classes. I'm going to get the attendance for you. Oh, it's Wednesday today, right? So welcome. Nice to have you one more time. Again, on this, on this one, we're going to work with section number, number two. Okay, we're going to work with count and non-count nouns. Uh, that's the thing we're going to work. This is Intermediate English module number one, class number three. And I have it to be here again, trying to uh, practice a little bit more of this thing that is called learning English. So welcome, Joel. It's nice to have you. And it's nice um, to be here again. Bye. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Don't forget that you have the platform where you can uh, practice with some exercises about the content. Yes, don't forget that you need to be like there, like practice, right? Oh, oh David, probably that's, that's your internet connection. Okay. Wait a minute. That's, that's your internet connection. Connection. Yeah, probably that's your internet connection. So I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. If you're not like hearing my my annoying voice, right? So I'm sorry. Yeah, I hope you can fix that thing. Again, thank you so much for being here. Welcome, everybody. Uh, welcome to this English class here, I'm sorry. Thank you so much for being here. Okay. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let me see. Oh. Okay. Good evening, everyone. Oh, good, good evening. Um, Beatrice, nice to have you. How are you? Uh, I'm doing great. <laughs> awesome. Sounds nice. Thanks so much for sharing us. The you? weekend is close, right? Also, vacation is very close. So we can get some rest. Uh, and the weather and also, is humid. <laughs> it's so oh, humid. Yes. yes. And also, I love Salvadorian, let's say, traditions, because here we celebrate a lot. It's like uh, we have a bunch of celebration eight during the year, and that's incredible. So Salvador's celebration is one of my favorites. It's really, it's really, I, 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 I forget. <laughs> yeah, sometimes we forget that, like, that we have this bunch of uh, free days, right. let's say, right? Camilo, my little, my little like boy, my nice little boy to tomorrow, uh, his, uh, his birthday. Oh, he's having his birthday. Are you planning yes. something for his birthday tomorrow? Yes, I, I will cook. Uh, Tacos? <laughs> oh, taquitos. Everybody loves tacos, right? Delicious. Are you going to yeah. make like, how do you say this one? Birria, right? Tacos. Tacos de birria. Oh. <laughs> like al pastor. <laughs> oh, also al pastor. Those are good. Yeah. yeah. With, with, with the avocado sauce. Um, I... Yeah, I love it, right? Yeah, I love that... it. Tomatoes. Yeah. Firmolo, pico de gallo. <laughs> pico de gallo, right? Tomatoes with onion. Yes. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. Okay. That's, but you're a really good, uh, a good mom, right, Anna? Yeah. What? You're a really good mom. I mean, preparing all this food for, for your son is good. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank yeah, because sometimes people. I, I try. <laughs> I <laughs> that's, try. That's good. 
that's wonderful. <laughs> yeah, because sometimes people, what they do, they, they buy food and right? they don't prepare their food at home. And well, in my, in my opinion, I think it's better to, to do the like, food at home instead of going out. Because at home, you can do whatever you want, right? You know your ingredients and the way you prepare your food. I'll oh, just, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, oh, teacher, what what is your what is your name? Uh, because I just uh your your last name, but your name I don't know. <laughs> oh, it's it's rare. I have a rare name. <laughs> what? What what is your yes. name? Oh, it's yes. very rare. rare name. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> it's strange. I, I need to repeat my name strange. twice. Mm -hmm. okay. Strange. Come on, repeat it. No, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really, I don't know your name too. Oh, it's, it's like Lazaro. It's my name. Lazaro. Oh, it's, wake it's, up, Lazaro. Wake up. Oh. Oh, it's, it's, <laughs> <laughs> Come on. That's my name, Lazaro. So, uh, Whenever I say my name, I usually repeat it twice because they people say, "Excuse me, oh, last uh, again." Um, no, but, but 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 here is not an an strange name, I think. Oh, here in El Salvador. Oh, yeah, yes, that's true, right? Yes, yes. That's true. Nice common, nice common in the in, in our country. Oh, that's true. Yes, maybe yes. Let me take the attendance really quick. When you hear your beautiful name, say I'm here or please thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Alvaro Rivera? Yes, sir. Let, let's switch the topic, right? <laughs> <laughs> Ana Martinez? Present. Thank <laughs> you so much. Good evening. Cesar Aparicio? No, he isn't. What about Darwin Blanco? Darwin? No, he isn't. Delmi Amaya? Present. Thank you, Delmi. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Efrain Emilio? Efrain Emilio? No, he isn't. Uh, Stephanie Martinez? I'm here, teacher. Good evening and welcome. Franklin Magaña? Hello, Franklin. No, he isn't. What about Geraldine Lisette? Good evening. Thank you, Geraldine. Ingrid Flores. Here, teacher. Good evening and welcome. Uh, mm -hmm. Irma Segura. Irma? No, I'm sorry. I missed one name, which is Hevel Virginia Tovar. Good evening, teacher. Thank you. I'm sorry for missing your name. Jesus Escobar. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Jesus. Jose Bajerana. Yes, teacher. Good evening. Welcome. Juan Madrid. Oh my gosh. He's playing right now, right? Yes. Juan Madrid? No? Okay. Catherine Rivera. Present, present. Oh, Juan Madrid is there, but I think they they have they have not microphone. Oh, oh, oh he have he has not microphone. Oh yes, yes. Let me check. Yes, David, you told me right. <laughs> yes. Okay, I got it. Thank you so much, Patricia. Okay, okay. Let's carry on with Catherine. Catherine. No, she isn't. What about Kevin Flores? Kevin. No, he isn't. Lucia, she has problems with her internet connection, I guess, or with her mic. So uh, thank you so much, Lucia. Melvin Diaz. I'm here, teacher. Perfect. Uh, Merin Carranza. Daniela Carranza. No, she isn't. Uh, Milagro de la Paz Jimenez. Here I am, sir. Wonderful, thank you. Mirna Landos. Sir, excuse me, sir. Hello. Milagro, yes. Yeah, sir, excuse me, may I beg you something? 
Oh, tell me, please. Uh, please, please tell me the chance to be as a listener, please, because oh. I'm driving from San Salvador to La Union. Oh, sure, sure. Just be careful, okay? Just, just for tonight, please. Yes, no problem. I got it. Thanks, sir. My pleasure. Mirna Landos. Present teacher. Thank you, Mirna. Good evening. Nelson Ceron. Nelson Ceron. No, he isn't. Patricia Garcia. Present teacher. Good evening. Nice to have you. Patricia Castellanos. Here I am, teacher. Good evening and welcome. Ronald Martinez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Ronald. Uh, Roxana Diaz. Present, teacher. Thank you, Roxana. Good evening. Sandra Asensio Gonzalez. I am here, teacher. Wonderful. And Sandra Rivas Portillo. Sandra Rivas Portillo. No. Let me check chat real quick. Oh, Emilio, right now, let me check that. Give me a minute. Emilio. Oh, yes. Also, I guess I have a message from Nelson. Yes, Nelson. Okay. Okay, Nelson. Thank you so much. Okay. Just let me take it out here. Okay, let me see. Oh, Daniela Marin. Marin. Ahorita Daniela Marin. Yeah, I'm here, teacher. Sorry. No problem. Thank you. Good evening. Nice to have you. One more time. Yes, so Lucia, thank you so much for letting me know. Just give me a minute because I need to, like, say notes. I need to take a picture of something here, but I don't find it in the camera. Okay, so just give me, just give me a, this Huawei that I have doesn't work right now. Okay, yeah, there we go. Okay, I'm sorry. Let's begin with the class. We're gonna have an easy content today, which is pretty much uh, you may be related to already, which is con and non con. Now, section number two, we're going to work with this one, which is countable nouns and uncountable nouns, right? Let's begin with some questions about our daily things or the things that we usually have every single day. Sometimes we face these issues, right? Like, um, Kevin, Virginia, question number one. How many hours do you spend traveling each day? Of Hebel, Virginia Tobal. Question number one. How many hours do you spend traveling each day? Um, two hours. Oh, two hours. That's yeah. That's fair enough, right? It's not not too much time, I I guess. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing. What about you, Juan David, Madrid? Um, how many hours do you spend traveling each day, let's say, to your job? Zero, zero hours. Oh, uh, zero. Yes. That's fantastic. I, I, I work in my, 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 my house. Oh, how is it? Is it difficult yes. or easy for you? Yeah. One, what are what are the advantages of of like working at home? Yes, uh, 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 I don't I don't drive a a job. I I, I don't buy uh, uh, gasolina. Oh, okay, gas. Full 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 gas. Oh, full as well, right? Okay, full. 
um uh I I eat in my in my house. <laughs> okay. So it's, you're saving money, right? In time. Yes, yes. Fantastic. Yes. Okay. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you so much. Sara E. Martinez, question number two. How do you get around the city? Mm. Sorry, I, I don't understand the question. Oh, okay. Let's see. What is your transport? The transport that you use? Oh, okay. By bus. <laughs> oh, okay. So you take the bus, right? You take the bus yeah. to go to, to places. Oh. Okay. Uh, what is your opinion about the public transportation that we have? Mm. And my my city, I think that is a little bit um lento. No, I would have say. Yeah. Okay, what, what about the price? Is it is it fair or is too expensive? No, it's it's cheap. Cheap. That's good. Five cents. Oh, that's good. That's good, right? You can afford it. Thank you so much. Ronald Alexis Martinez, the third one is for you. Uh, do you ever get stuck in traffic? Every day, teacher. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> How many hours? <laughs> How many hours? About uh, or over two hours yes. per day. Oh, yeah. How do you feel about it? Well, um. I can do anything about that. Uh, I just uh, take it easy about <clears throat> this, this this situation. Yes, where where are you from, Donald? I'm from Berlin, Usulutan. Oh yeah, I don't know why. I I thought like in San Salvador, every day we have that thing, the traffic jam. Is heavy. Yeah, but but I thought like in like San Miguel or maybe Santa Ana or maybe those. Um, little places like that we have in El Salvador, there, there is nothing like, like a traffic. But now, actually, I need to travel every day to my work in San Miguel. Oh, yeah. So that's why. That's that's why. Because San Miguel oh, yes. is heavy. The traffic is heavy over there. It's very why. heavy. Yeah, it's, it's unfortunately, right? So we, we spend our time. Like, but that's, that's the reality. Nothing else we can do about it. Just relax and wait, right? Mm -hmm. Wait for yes, it. actually, actually, I need to get up about to four a.m. Oh, that's very early. See, that's, yeah. that's very early. Yeah, like at the effort you do, like that's amazing. That's incredible. It's okay, early thank in the you. Geraldine, I think she's Geraldine, right? That's your name. Yes. Thank you. The number four is for you, please. What do you do what? to stay calm? Uh, when I try to calm down, listen to music, and take a break. Yes, right. Very good. That's good. Yeah, sometimes there are things like Ronald was saying, like things that uh, there is nothing we can do about it. or just need to relax and stay calm, right? Thank you so much, right? Uh, okay. Now, let's work on this thing which is compound words we have compound words in english and as you may see in the pictures we have two pictures right over there can you please explain what do you see in this picture uh here sandra elizabeth Asensi? what do you see in this picture i think these are more um, traffic uh -huh, um, okay which traffic Thank you so much. What, what comes to your mind when you see the picture? Like, I know it's traffic, right? But but what comes to what else comes to your mind when you? Oh my gosh, she was. That you have to stay calm because um there are a lot of traffic and sometimes um you don't have patience. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Camilo, what about the second picture? This one here. What 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 makes you feel this picture when you see this picture? 
Uh, I see a little a lot of peace and uh, relax. <laughs> There's no traffic. Yeah, it's a place you can stay. <laughs> so there is one word that I love, which is silence, right? <laughs> Silence. Okay. There's a lot of us. Yeah, there's a lot of silence there. That's you good. can breathe a lot of peace there too. Exactly right. So we got green space, and here we have the traffic jam. Very yeah, good. A lot so, of green. So uh, that's why when we have vacation, we are always looking for these kind of places, places that I like are like far away, like in the countryside, and places that we can rest and forget about the noise. That we have here. You know, see, we're going to have compound words, as you may see on the screen, we have words that like we combine together. So then we can have, let's say, um, a one word combined related to the context we we're talking about. We have A and B. Okay, uh, let's work with uh, Daniela Carranza. Ayúdeme la, just read A uh, vocabulary, please. Thank you. Just reading. Oh, yeah, just read letter A, vocabulary. Okay. Bicycle, bus, green, parking, recycling, street, subway, taxi, traffic, train. Thank you so much. Ingrid, Maricela, thank you. With letter B, letter B vocabulary, please. Thank you. Center, garage, jam, lame, line. Space, STEM, station, stop, system. Okay, very good. So what are you going to do? I'm going to give you three minutes. Okay, so you can make as many compound words as you can in three minutes using this vocabulary here. Okay, so I will count three minutes. And after that, I will stop and I will start asking random people uh, about compound words you got using the vocabulary in letter A and the vocabulary in letter B, like this example, subway station, right? Yes? Do you understand what are you going to do? Yes? You got it? Okay, three minutes. So you can do as many compound words as you teacher, can. Teacher, example is bus stop. Exactly, perfect. Okay. okay. Yes, okay, so three minutes. Let's do this. Sorry, teacher, I have a question. Oh, yes, go ahead. Uh, it's about the online platform. Oh, yes, so, let me know. Okay, uh, how many sections do we have uh, done by, by, by this week? As far as I know, we have section one and section two. Okay. As far as I know, okay. Um, as far as I know, it's section one and section two. Okay, thank you, teacher. My pleasure.
Okay, thanks. Time is over. Let's begin with the first one, which is bicycle. Um, Sarai, Martinez, bicycle. Tell me, please. Mm, I'm not sure, but I think it can be a stand. Okay, so what is the correct compound word, please? Can you say it? Stand. Bicycle stand. Okay, do we have something else with, with bicycle? Anybody else? Mm -hmm. Camilo, do you have something else with bicycle? Bicycle lane. Bicycle lane, right? That's another one. Very good. Okay. Let's carry on with Sandra. Says, what, what about train? Train lane? Oh, oh yes. But right now we're going to do it with, with bicycle and then we go with bus. And then oh, another. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Sandra Asensio, what about with bus? Bus station. Or bad stop. Bad stop. What else? Bad. Mm, only. Bus lane. Bus lane. What else? Bus system. Bus system, right? We have bus system as well. Let's work with green. Oh, this is very quite unique, right? Green. Mm -hmm. Anybody? Green. Green, green space. Or... Oh, green yeah. Line. Green space. Green space, right? That's the that's the only one that I as far as I can know. Parking. Green light. Parking or green light as well. Yeah, if we have like the traffic light, right? Yeah, very good. What about parking? Mm -hmm. Anybody? Parking garage. Parking garage, yes. Parking space. Parking space, exactly. Right here is not a we don't have parking. parking. Yes, very good. What about recycling? Parking system too? Or I, parking I system? I guess no. Maybe no? parking space. Yes, but parking system? No, no. That one. Yeah, I'm sorry, we don't. And parking station? No. Oh um, no, I'm sorry. No. Okay. Thank you. What about what about recycling? Recycling system. Oh, recycling Recycl system. Recycling center. Recycling center, right? Yes, that's mm -hmm. true. Yeah. A yeah, street. That's a street, right? The next one. That is easy, right? That's easy. A street. Street. Street uh system. <laughs> no, 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 no. no, I'm sorry, Patricia. <laughs> yeah, no. There is only one, I guess. Yes. A street. Street. A street lane. A street light. Very good. A street light. 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 Street light. A street light. Mm -hmm. Yes. Fine. <laughs> what about subway? Mm -hmm. Subway station. Subway station. What else? Subway center. So, mm, yes. Yeah, that's a food. <laughs> I mean, maybe the subway system, yeah. <laughs> Center, system? Uh, system? Oh, yes. The subway system, yes. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Subway I think we have line. another one with subway. Subway line. line. No, no. Subway no, because... stop. Oh, subway stop, yes. Subway stop, yes. Very, very good. Taxi? Taxi station? Oh, taxi is... Taxi station, probably. Taxi right. stop. Taxi line. Taxi stop. Stand. And, and taxi, taxi lane, ride. right? Taxi lane as well. Very good. Uh, and stop. the traffic? Traffic light. Traffic light. Traffic light. Yes. Traffic, traffic jam. jam. Traffic jam. Okay. And train? Train station. Train station. Train, train stop. Train stop. Train and, and, and train. train center. Train center. Train system. Right. So this is like, this is the way we compound work. Train lane. Train right. lane. In this one, we are like using like vocabulary from the city, right? Things that we use like to get from one place to another one, okay? As you may see here, we have which of these things can you find where you live, right? If you see here, we have there are a lot of bus lanes in my city, let's say, but there isn't a subway system, right? Like depending on the reality of each country, we need to face this is in areas, right? In El Salvador, unfortunately, there are things that we don't have. There are things that, yes, we have. 
The one that we have a lot is this <laughs> word that we have here. You see this one? This is the one that we have every day. <laughs> Traffic jam, yeah. 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 Traffic jam. Yes. So All unfortunately, that's, that's a huge thing, okay? Um, let's work with this one. City services, right? You see we have picture A, picture B, and picture C. Can Unit two, in the picture? life in the city. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, can you help me describing, um, let me see. Patricia, can you help me describing picture A, picture B, and picture C, please? Thank you. Picture A is like traffic jam. Uh, picture B is a, a, a parking lot. Um, I don't know. Picture C is like a, a dark, a dark country. I don't know. Okay, perfect. Patricia Esmeralda, do you see this? message here your voice counts do you understand this message here this phrase yes patricia esmeralda garcia yes teacher okay when do we use this phrase mm -hmm. no i don't understand <laughs> oh, the, the phrase your voice counts when do we use this phrase Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm. Don't worry, Camila. We he please. Can you help her, please? Thank you. I think it's when you want to uh, need to be listened. Exactly right. Sometimes in our community, we we yeah. we, we are forced to do so. So yeah. let's let's listen. And what are we going to do? We are going to put these letters here according to the context, okay? Let's listen and then we will check. Unit two, life in the city. Page eight, exercise two, perspectives, city services, part A. Listen to these opinions about city services. Match them to the correct pictures. The streets are dark and dangerous. I don't think there are enough police officers. And we need more street lights. There's too much pollution from cars, motorcycles, and old buses. In cities with less pollution, people are healthier. There should be fewer cars, but I think that the biggest problem is parking. There just isn't enough parking. Okay. Unit two. Life in the city. Page eight. Exercise two. Perspectives. City services. Part A. Listen to these opinions about city services. Match them to the correct pictures. The streets are dark and dangerous. I don't think there are enough police officers. And we need more street lights. There's too much pollution from cars, motorcycles, and old buses. In cities with less pollution, people are healthier. There should be fewer cars, but I think that the biggest problem is parking. There just isn't enough parking. Thank you. Let's begin with Ana Beatriz. Number one, what is the correct uh, letter B. based it's on B. the picture? It's B. Letter B. Bravo. Mm. Mm. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. Um, Emilio. Thank you, Emilio. Number two. Emilio Acevedo. Number two. He's writing on the shelf. Oh, yes, that's nice. Let's work with you, Patricia Garcia. Number two. What's the picture that goes with number two? Number two is A. A. <laughs> Sorry. Letter A, Apple. 
Okay. Thank you. And the last one should be a letter. I'm still running. Okay. No. 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 Okay. No. Okay. I give her. I okay. think. Change, change, change. 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 Letter C belongs yeah. number one. Yeah. yeah. Number one. Uh, letter C. Uh, C. Okay, so number yeah. one is letter C. What about number, number two? two uh, letter, letter A. Letter number A. two belongs to letter A. No, letter, the three letter B. I was wrong, teacher. <laughs> no problem, no problem. So letter, letter number three should be number letter three, B. Letter C. Letter B, like this one? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. So these are opinions about the city services, right? As you may know, in our cities, we have these kind of services. Sometimes they're like, oh, these services are not good, right? So what does your city or town have a similar, does your city or town have a similar problems? What do you think about is like, what do you think is the biggest problem that you have in your like, This is the question. What do you think is the biggest problem you have in your What is that big problem that you say, oh, for me, this is big problem that we are facing? Ana Martinez, thank you. Uh, what is the... Oh, the question is this one. What do you okay. think is the biggest problem in your community or in your city level? Okay. Um, a lot of uh, cars. I don't know the trust the people. Uh, uh, hoy en día, no sé cómo decirlo. Uh, every every everybody have have to car and and I think so is could be the reason. Perfect. Yes. So that means that we have too many cars in our city. So, sure. Yeah. Uh, I I think I think uh, the 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 big problem in in the city, uh, San Salvador is uh, the pollution. Pollution. Yeah. The, uh, San Salvador is same uh, uh, level the pollution. Uh, same uh, Mexico City. No. Uh, no. Uh, That's not good. Yeah. Uh, uh, I I I think this is uh, the big problem in in the the San Salvador city. Pollution. And what is the cause of this pollution? And when... uh, cars. <laughs> yeah, yeah, cars and, and, and factory and factories, factories, um, and, and... what did what did he say? What did he say? The forest, the, the, sech the sechos. I don't the know. Forest don't... T-shirt. The trash. I don't. Know. The trash, okay, trash, okay. Yeah, the amount of trash that we have yeah. in our, let's say, rivers or like yeah. big areas. Yeah. And the forest, teacher? Yeah, the forest section, right? Yeah, we have yeah. that. In El Salvador, like we, we, like, we see in different malls and different, like, uh, let's say, um, houses. There are, there are more houses and streets. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. Yeah, we, we have different malls. I'm seeing a bunch of malls. We, we don't have money, but we have a bunch of malls everywhere. Like, I don't know how, I don't know how this thing is like helping us, but nothing. Daniela Carranza, where, where are you from, Daniela? I'm from San Salvador. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. So you're facing the same issue, right? Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, you... but I'm, I'm <laughs> agree with that. And also all the, all buses. They go around the around the downtown. They throw so many pollution, and yeah, you can feel it even when you get home. All your clothes smell like smell like that. Mark. It's pretty bad. Uh, and there are many uh, old bus. 
Oh yes, yeah. our bosses, we have a bunch of them. Yeah. Yeah, they, they don't care, right? They only want money. And and that's that's not good. Yeah. I hope that we can have let, let's say a, a system that controls that, but unfortunately we don't. And and the future will let us know like um the different issues we were having. This this other other problem, big problem is corruption. Oh, oh yes, yes, well, that, that's true. Okay, that's why I have the next video for you, so you can listen and practice a little bit of the grammar. I'm sorry. Okay, let's listen and watch. Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to describe problems in a city. You'll do this by using count and non-count nouns. Let me give you a quick example of this. There's too much traffic in my city because there are too many cars. You'll also listen to an audio program which illustrates how this topic is used. First of all, nouns. What are nouns? Well, nouns are people, places, or things. Pretty much everything that you see around you is considered a noun. And what do we mean by count nouns? Well, count nouns are simply all of those things, people, places, or things that you can easily count. So, for example, when we think about cars, subway lanes, buses, those are nouns that you can easily count. Let me give you an example of other nouns that we can easily count. So for example, we can count things like a pen, a computer, a bottle, a spoon, a desk, a cup a television, a chair, shoe, a finger. Flower, camera, stick, balloon, book, table, etc. Another thing that I would like to mention about count nouns is that we can easily change these count nouns into plurals by simply adding an S. Now let me point out what non-count nouns are. And just like I mentioned previously, count nouns are all of those things that you can count. People, places, or things that are easy to count, such as cars, subway lanes, or buses, like we see on the example. Now, with non-count nouns, what that means is that we're going to look at nouns that are difficult to count. So, for example, in our chart, we see things like traffic, things like pollution, public transportation, parking. Those are a little bit difficult to count. So let me give you more examples of some of the things that cannot be counted quite easily and therefore we consider this non-count nouns. So if we think about things like water, wood, ice, air, oxygen, English, Spanish, these are subjects, traffic, furniture, milk, wine, sugar, rice, meat, flower, things like sports, soccer, all of these things are non-countable. They cannot be counted easily. Another thing that's important to mention about non-count nouns is that we don't add an S in order to ch change them to plural. They, they do not have a plural form. Next, what I would like to do is I would like to play an audio program for you so that you can listen to the perspective of some people about their city and remember that the goal of this class is to learn how to express problems that exist within a city. For example, there is too much traffic in my city because there are too many cars. And we want to use count nouns and non-count nouns to express uh, those ideas. So we're going to listen to that and I will have you answer a couple of questions about that. The buses are old and slow, and they cause too much pollution. In cities with less pollution, people are healthier. There are too many cars. All the cars, taxis, and buses are a danger to bicyclists. There is too much traffic. There should be fewer cars, but I think that the biggest problem is parking. There just isn't enough parking. The last thing that I would like for you to do now is to answer some questions about your city. And what I would like for you to do is to 
tell me whether there is a lot of traffic in your city. So I'm going to ask the question, is there a lot of traffic in your city? Are there many buses in your city? Are there enough police officers in your city? Is there too much pollution in your city? And as you're answering these questions that I just posted, I want you to identify the nouns that I'm using. So tell me whether the nouns that I'm using, whether they're count or non-count. So for example, traffic is the first one. Is that count or non-count? Uh, police officers, is that count or no count? Thank you so much. Let's work with these questions that we have here, right? So we have countable nouns and uncountable nouns. There are some of them that are like countable nouns, as you may see on the video, right? So we can identify them easily, right, when we use them. And those are the ones that we use the most, countable nouns, because those are easy to, to use. So the question number one is for you, Camilo. Is there a lot of traffic in your city? Camilo Rivera, is there a lot of traffic in your city? Oh my gosh, I'm here. No, <laughs> I thought it was good. Anyway, but not the case. Camilo, do you hear me? Yes. Your, your mic is off, Camilo. I don't know if it's off your mic. Oh, I think he's, he has a problem with his internet connection. Okay, let's Hello. work with you, Alexis Martinez. Is there a lot of traffic in your city? Believe it or, uh, believe it or not, teacher, yes. It yes, there is. It's a problem. Yes, very good. Nelson Seron, thank you. The next question. Are there enough police officers in your city, Nelson? Nelson, are there enough police officers in your city? Okay, let's work with um, Sandra Rivas. Sandra, same question to you. Are there enough police officers in your city? Okay, let's work with let me check. Somebody sent me a message and I what, what I missed. Okay, David Blanc. Well, David, he's having a problem with my right. Tell me, Amaya. Tell me, Amaya, the same question. Are there enough police officers in your city? No, okay. Jesus Eduardo. Jesus Eduardo. Same question to you. Are there enough police officers in your city? Melvin Diaz. Good evening, Melvin. Same question to you. Are there enough police officers in your city? Yes, there are. Perfect. Thank you so much. Jose Alejandro. Question number three. Are there many buses in your city? Yes, yes, teacher. Yes, there, there are. Is a lot of a lot of buses. So, yes. Perfect. Cesar. Cesar Alejandro, is there too much pollution in your city? Okay. Patricia Castellanos, is there too much pollution in your city? Yes. Yes, there is, right? There is. <laughs> yeah. Yes, that is, unfortunately. Let's get some more vocabulary from um, this. We're going to work with this one. Problems that we have in our city, right? Choose the solution for is a problem. You've got to choose. We have the solutions here, and here we have a problem. Example, no more parking places. What's the solution? Build a public parking garage. Probably that's the solution. Milagro, number two. Read the problem and then give me the solution, please. You have the solutions here. Just pick one. Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Go ahead. Um, oh, sorry. Uh, install more traffic lights. 
Oh, yes, install. Very good. Let me write it. I'm going to write, I'm going to write here the number. Okay, so um, install, you tell me, right? Part, oh my God, street light. Number two, number two, yes. Direct street, where the solution is install modern street light. Very good, Jesus, wonderful. Um, Jesus, what was that? Teacher, I have a question. Yeah, tell me. Uh, number two, uh, you install modern strip light or start more traffic light? Oh, no. Okay. No, traffic is for cars, right? Yes. Yeah. Traffic is like with cars. No, like no, with cars. Is. Exactly. When, when you have it like. Yes, in a, cross, in a cross street. In a cross street, sometimes we have. A traffic yeah, light. Street, yeah. street is dark. No, sorry, street is. It's the street uh, light. It's street, 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 okay. Yeah. It's the road. Street. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you got you got the the, the, the meaning uh, here, Jesus. Jesus, you got it. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wonderful. <laughs> oh, wonderful. That's good. That's good. Okay. Thank you so much for asking that. Uh. Daniela Carranza, number three, please, Daniela. No place to take children. Well, that will be build more parts. Exactly right. So number three, number three. Okay, build more parts. If you have children, that's a good thing, right? So we can, so we can, so you can enjoy with your children. Patricia Esmeralda Garcia, number four. Right. Um, I'm more for this officer. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> Easy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, we got this one, right? O poner a un que de presidente. Oh my God. Okay. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Okay. Relax. Relax. Okay. Okay. Let's work with the next one. That is for you, Jesus. Number five. Thank you. Uh, number five. Let me see. Install more drug light. Oh, probably, probably, right, Geraldine? Yes, that's right. Probably you install more traffic lights. That that will help you. Yes, and the last one, which is number six, we go with uh, the only one that is available, which is this one. Build a build a subway system. So you build a subway system if you want to start the traffic, right? I don't know if that will happen here in El Salvador, but if that help us, welcome. Yeah, thank you so much. Let me show you the next one. Okay, we're working with um countable nouns and countable. Nouns. We have look at these solutions. Why right? sentence is explaining the problems? We are going to use too much, too many, or not enough, and well, some problems in there in part A. So the first one, for example, we have like the solution. Here we have the solution. If you see, solution, solutions, 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 solutions. But we need to write the opposite. In la otra se llama la solution, y aquí estamos escribiendo el problem. Okay. Here we're working with the problem. The first one is there aren't enough parking spaces, so that's why we have the city should be a public parking garage. What about the number two? Mm -hmm. Anybody? Yeah. Um, there, there is a lot of um, car accidents. Mm -hmm. Not enough. Yeah, there's not... car accidents, you told me, right? We have a car accident. Yeah. There are not enough uh, public parking garage. There are not enough. There's oh not God. enough. Oh, oh, no, no, the city should be. Uh, yeah, it's just too much. 
Okay, that was very good. And there are too many accidents. Oh, oh, hmm. What happened? We have a traffic light, you know. Yeah. Traffic there are too light. many accidents. And no, but a, a traffic light, it doesn't prevent us from accidents, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe from something else. At the beginning, you're right. At the beginning, you're right. Like, uh, there, um, oh, excuse me. There are. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. <laughs> there are. Too many acts. Too many, I'm sorry. Accidents. I even was bien, right? Uh, there uh, are too many. No, too much. Uh, per accident. Too much. Um, okay. No, I mean, too many is good. There are too many. Accidents. But, uh, but I'm looking for, like, the thing that, the problem. That, dark, dark, dark street. Dark street. There are too many. Um... No, think about what is, what is, like, let's say, how a traffic light help us every day. Yes, there are Can too many street? dark street in the city. No. No, no, no. Remember, no. traffic light. Accident, accidents. Car accidents. Car accidents. No, no, no. Car, Remember, uh, traffic light. There are too many. With the colors, uh, red, green, yellow. Yes. Mm -hmm. Traffic jam. Oh, yes. But, tra but, but traffic is too much, right? Traffic, traffic jam, that's right. It helps us with the traffic jam. But yeah. but to, uh, in that in that case, it's not too much traffic jam. Exactly, there are too many traffic jams. Too, no, too much traffic jam. Mm, what happened is here. Traffic guess, traffic is non countable, right? Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. But jam uh, is countable. I don't know. Yes, yes. that's why I'm yeah. using two. So you can say there are. Too much, you told me, right? That is another. Too option. much traffic. Too much traffic, but traffic jam is count is countable. There is too much. Too much traffic, you told me, yes? Uh -huh, too much traffic. Okay. Traffic is non countable, but jam is countable, right? Exactly. That's why I use many here, right? You got uh, it? Yeah. 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 Okay. Because I got the okay. word jams. But here, if you use there is too much traffic, that's uh -huh. that, that's fixed. Yes, that's fixed. Uh, okay. Okay. Perfect. So in this once again, we're looking for the problem. We got like the city should be a subway system. Uh -huh. What is the problem? If we have like a subway system, that thing uh -huh. will help us to improve. Uh, we have too many cars. <laughs> That there are too many. There are too many cars. Oh yeah, but like, remember, like the subway, well, the subway system is for like a specific, let's say, specifically, it is specifically for, or, for certain people. You know what I mean? You can say there that is not enough public tra transportation. There's not enough. You got it, Daniela. That is correct, right? So the context, the main objective of the public is to help us because there is there is not enough public transportation. That's why I was telling you like this thing help us with certain uh, people because like if you have a car that's it won't help you because because you have a car right unless unless you take the public transportation oh yes that subway will help will help me in my daily basis right in the city oh yes so again here we're working with like countables and uncountable nouns so pretty much with things that we have in our city with problems that we have in our city like traffic jam like I don't know crime, like I don't know um let's say places that we have. Just think about that those some some things are plural and some things are singular. Or I'm sorry, we use singular with un uncountable nouns, and we use plural with with, with countable nouns as well with the verb to be. The question the verb to be and don't say with coffee, pastry with coffee. Where here we have it right with there is and there are. All right, okay.
Uh, unfortunately, the time is over. Yes. Uh, good night. I wish you the best. Be nice and be kind, and we will see you tomorrow. Thank you. Yeah. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you so much for everything.